So, hello everyone. So, we are here for the new challenge uh, RODEF Euro 2008-2019. So, I will present you Quentin Vio from uh, Sagoma Research and he will present you the new problem for this new challenge. Okay, thank you, Eric. Uh, so, this is a challenge organized by uh, Lydia Tlan and myself. Uh, so, Sangama is a major and uh, one of the oldest French company. Uh, its uh, total amount of sales is around uh, f uh, is 40 uh, bi uh, billion uh, euros. And uh, our uh, main activities are in the habitat market. So, we sell products to make uh, home better and increase comfort of uh, our customers. So um, we are a very uh, innovative company and to help this effort, uh, we have uh, eight cross business RD center around the world. We are one of the top 100 global innovators and uh, this challenge is supported by uh, Saint-Gobain Research, which is located near Paris in France. So, uh, inside uh, Saint-Gobain Research, uh, there are a, a dedicated um, applied mathematics team. So we are around 20 engineers. Our, our mission is to bring value to all Saint-Gobain businesses for the use of operation research, optimization, data science, uh, virtual reality also. Um, our main scope is to help uh, sales, marketing, supply chain, industrial uh, process uh, to increase the efficiency of a company. So the, uh, the challenge here is, um, is focused on the is a glass problem. So we will focus on Saint-Gobain glass industry, which is one of the major uh, flat glass uh, producer in Europe, so it's the first one in Europe and the second worldwide, uh, worldwide sorry. Um, what, we want to, what we want to develop with, um, in Saint-Gobain glass industry is, uh, is high value um, glass materials or to help uh, convert in house or also uh, develop new business opportunity. So, currently, um, how to make glass, for instance, because I, I guess you can know, but uh, it's always better to have an example. So, uh, you are going to put some sand and sodium carbonate in limestone and uh, some other material, for instance, um, pigments. Uh, you are going to put them at high temperature and you are going to create glass. Um, the idea is the following. So uh, to create glass, you have a four-step process, so a melting phase. So you will put your, all your raw materials um, in, a, in a furnace. You are going to um, uh, uh, burn them up such that uh, it will completely melt. Then you have a, f uh, a finding step, so its uh, main point is to uh, obtain the, uh, it's to remove the bubble in the glass, and then you have the last steps, which is a thermal conditioning, so it's to control uh, and to form the glass. Um, so at the end of the float process, uh, um, you are going to obtain so a huge bend uh, a huge glass ribbon, so glass float, and we are going to cut them in different, um, in what we call jumbos. So jumbos are typically a three meter per six uh, glass panel. So we have some, uh, we have some uh, production problem which can arise due to the fabric, uh, due to the glass melting. So for instance, sometimes we are air bubble trapped in the glass or there are some crack or impacts because we uh, move jumbos in dif uh, from different uh, factor, uh, uh, factories or uh, we can also have some uh, what we call stone um, 
in the, uh, in the glass. So the problem um, and the subject of this challenge is the following. So we are going to give as input a set of jumbos which may contain defect and a set of glass pieces to cut. These glass pieces to cut are typically used to uh, create a double window pane so, and are then sell to you, uh, for instance, in your house. So the idea is to design a set of cutting patterns uh, for the jumbos, such that the glass loss is minimal. Uh, we have some constraint to ensure, which, which is that we have to cut all the glass pieces which are ordered by uh, one of our customers. Uh, all, produce, all glass pieces has to be defect-free, and we have to respect some cutting and organizational constraint. So this problem is classically a two-dimensional bin packing problem. So, as mentioned, we have two sets of constraints, so one related to the cutting and another one related to the organizational. So, about the cutting constraints, uh, we all know all of the guillotine cuts to be performed. So, it's, uh, as you can see here, it's a guillotine cut is a straight line cut, like this one. Uh, which cut uh, a bin from one bin edge to the opposite edge, and it has to be parallel to the other um, bin edges. So uh, and the, um, here you have a guillotine pattern, and here you have a non-guillotine pattern. This is mandatory because uh, if you don't perform guillotine cuts, you are going to create cracks on your uh, glass panel, and which highly results in just throwing, throwing it away. Um, due to technical limitation, we also limit the number of cuts which can be performed to obtain a glass piece, so an item. Um, in other words, it means that uh, we bound this number bar free. So uh, as, uh, on the two patterns present here, uh, they are allowed because uh, on this one, you can obtain all the item in two cuts. On this one, you obtain all the item in three cuts. Uh, there are also some extra cutting constraints, so uh, also due to technical limitations. So there's maximum or minimum uh, cut length when can be performed. Uh, there are also minimum dimension of waste, and obviously it is forbidden to cut through a defect. So uh, here is an example of the output we are going to give you for the challenge. So um, we, get, we are going to give you a beans which all have the same size and may contain defect, but uh, due to organizational constraints in, uh, in the industry, uh, those beans are stacked. It means that they are not going to be considered as ordered when you design cutting pattern for them. So for instance, you, can, you have to design uh, cutting pattern for the bin one, then for the bin two, and then for the bin three. You cannot use the bin three without having finding a cutting pattern for the bin one and bin two, respectively. Um, another output is the um, uh, is the item we are going to give you. Uh, we are going to give you to cut. So. These items are um, considered as order, so some of the uh, items are put in stack, and inside each stack, you have a uh, given order on the, um, you have an order on the item you have to cut. So um, typically this is due to uh, respect production planning. So here is an example of a solution, for instance. So, um, you are going, uh, we want you to find a set of cutting patterns to ensure all the cutting constraints and ensuring that the loss is minimal. So, here is an example of a solution, ensuring the order. So, typically, the problem uh, and the subject of this challenge is a two-dimensional bin packing with defects on bin, order on bins, order on item. And uh, each cutting pattern has to be unrestricted, free stage, guillotine, and with trimming. Uh, and just to give you a quick overview, here is the amount of price we are going to give during the challenge. So uh, the worth total value is 45,000 uh, euros. So if you, uh, and we are going to split them in different sections. 
And if you want more information, or all of them are available on the Rodev Challenge website. So thank you. Thank you.